Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and today I wanted to show you some of the wallets we're shipping out. We've got some color 8 shell cordovan as well as some natural shell cordovan and I thought it would be a good opportunity to compare and contrast both of these wallets and we'll be looking at a bit of the patina that happens on each of these. Let's start off first here with the classic. This is the color number 8 shell cordovan and this color has sort of become synonymous with the word cordovan and on some angles more brown tones appear and other angles more of these sort of purple burgundy tones come out a little bit better and as you can see brand new a piece of color eight shell is super bright and shiny very flat and smooth but we also have a couple pieces of color eight shell here that have been worn for a bit and these don't get daily wear so i'm not really certain of how long this is worn in and this has not been babied at all so this is a vault key holder in the color eight shell that's been dented up and scratched up quite a bit and it's looking pretty cool when it's beat up. You'll notice here that the color doesn't change very much on the color eight shell. It's still pretty similar to how it was color wise when it started, but it's starting to accumulate a little bit of patina. And a good contrast to the color eight shell is the natural shell cordovan. This is the leather I suggest to most people if they want to experience a dramatic color change. So what you see when the natural shell cordovan is worn, the color becomes deeper, darker, a little bit more golden brown, but the luster also starts to increase. This here is a raw shell cordovan fat herbie that I wore for about a year, and this is not the best comparison because the raw natural shells start off a little bit different than the polished shells like you see here, but you can really get a good sense of how much the color has changed on this. And you can see the natural shell cordovan starts off this light kind of blonde tan color, and once it's worn, this one again, for about a year, it's become a little bit more golden, darker, and it's starting to pick up a little bit more patina on the corners and on the spine of the wallet. And here's another natural shell cordovan piece, but this is my brother's Fat Herbie that he's been wearing for about 10 years. You can definitely see the dramatic color change of what 10 years of patina looks like on the piece of natural shell. It's almost a completely different color. It's like a more brown of a shade now, but you might be able to see the undertones still have a little bit of that vibrance to it. But the other thing to notice is the luster. So take a look at how the luster has changed here. It's almost got layers of luster now that I have a hard time describing, but you can really see it sort of has a wet surface look and almost like a nice glow from underneath. And this layered lustered effect is a really unique thing that happens on veg tan leathers, including the shell cordovan. So this is a special fat herbie that has been around since the start of our company here. So which one do you prefer? Do you prefer a wallet that's going to change over time like this natural shell cordovan? Or do you prefer more of a classic like the color eight shell cordovan here? Let me know. Uh, I, I can't choose between the two. I tend to like patina, so I generally want to go more towards the natural. But there's something to be said for the color HL. It's been a standard color for about 100 years, and I think there's a great reason for that. It's just a really beautiful burgundy shade. And let's take a look at some of the wallets that are shipping out today, including this natural shell cordovan Bugs Moran. This is a really nice color, and even though it is natural, it does not have any stains applied to it, you can see how the color changes directionally on the shell cordovan. And that's a pretty unique thing about the cordovan leather is the fibers are directional inside of it. So depending on what angle you look at it, the color might be a little bit lighter or a little bit darker. And the Bugs Moran here, this is our minimalist style card holder. No bill slot on the outside with four card slots on the inside. And a good contrast to that is the Tony the Ant here. So we have a bill slot on the back, which will hold US dollars. Yen and Euros tend to stick out just very slightly from the thumb notch in the back here. So we do have a tall Tony option available if you carry Euros or Yen. And on the inside, this is very similar to the Bugs Moran, but just slightly wider. And we made the Tony the Ant a little bit wider to accommodate this bill slot in the back so you can more easily access your cash. And we also have a Color 8 Shell Bugs and a Color 8 Shell Tony. So here's the Color 8 Shell Bugs we've been looking at for a little bit. Beautiful brown, dark brown burgundy shade. It's really, really nice. Also directional in color on the Color 8 Shell Cordovan. Here's a look at that Tony the Ant. And there's something magical about the curves that this thumb notch bill slot creates on the backside, just the way the light hits and reflects off the leather. It's almost like the color changes a bit uh, just from the light bouncing at those different angles. 
So really nice aesthetic on the outside of the tone of the ant. And I'll give you a look at the inside of this one too. We try to cut the Horween ink stamp into the center whenever we can. And here's another ink stamp, although this time it's on the Fat Herbie. And you can see we were able to cut this one also into the center. We just find it to be best looking there. We know that most people are wanting an ink stamp, so we like to cut it into a visible spot. Otherwise on this Herbie, there's no other visible spot for the reverse shell. And let's give a look at the outside here. This is a huge piece of, of shell cordovan in that color eight shade. And that's why I like the Fat Herbie is you get an opportunity to see this massive context of leather. And there's something a little bit magical about just seeing such a large format of piece of leather. And speaking of large format, here's another Fat Herbie with a beautiful piece of natural chrome excel. And you can see this large context gives that range of color and that depth of color a little bit more interest just because you can see more context around the highs and lows of color in this piece of Chrome Excel. So this Fat Herbie, it's really nice. It's going out today. Thank you everybody that's also supported us on the private stock event from last Friday. It's just been incredible support from you guys on the private stock and it makes me hear you loud and clear that that's something we should be doing more of. So the goal is for all the private stock stuff to be able to do maybe one a month for all those different special wallets. And I also have a Capone Money Clip shipping out today in the English Tan Dublin leather. This is our best selling leather and color. I think people really like the natural grain character of the Dublin leather as well as this nice medium tan shade. And here's another English Tan Dublin piece, but this one's on the Tony the Ant and you can see it does range in color. Each piece of Dublin is hand finished and it has an aniline finish. So there's no paints or solids in that finish coat to cover up any of this grain character. But a consequence of that is each piece of Dublin is a little bit different in color and it's a little bit different in grain character, which I think is part of the charm. Every wallet that we make is a total unique piece. And here's a vault key holder in the denim blue shell cordovan. I like the denim blue shell very much because it really reads as a sort of a vibrant blue shade. And we were doing the intense blue shell cordovan before that sometimes red is a little bit more of like a black shade. But if I put this up next to a, an actual piece of black leather, like this black shell cordovan Johnny the Fox, you can definitely see just how blue the denim blue shell is. And the color eight shell cordovan is the classic shell color, but this is the other classic. These are the most popular shell cordovan colors, this black shell and the color eight shell. And there's something really magical about how the light hits the black shell. There's something really futuristic about it to me that I really enjoy. So we've got this giant of the fox and it's extra special because we've hand stained all of the edges with the same stain coats that are applied to the shell. So you get a nice matching and waxed and burnished edge for this Johnny the Fox. And we also have all of this black shell cordovan for the card holders on the inside of the Johnny the Fox. And this is really difficult for us to get. We have to pick naturally thin pieces of shell for the inside of this wallet because we have so many different layers of card holders. If we don't pick naturally thin pieces of shell for this wallet, the wallet is just way, way, way too thick. So we have to be a little bit patient with our cutting and sorting of leather to make sure we get the thicknesses just right, especially on the Johnny the Fox. So thanks for checking out all the stuff in the video today. Let me know what you prefer. If you prefer the color eight shell cordovan, or if you'd like the natural shell, if you're more of a patina guy. And until next time, hope you have a good one and take care.